So the average age of a bridge in the United States is just under 50 years, and that's actually what they were, most of them were designed for. Not only is it just the age of the bridge that's causing、um, deterioration, but also the loads on the bridge are much heavier now than they were 50 years ago. So the electrochemical fatigue sensor system is actually like an EKG for a bridge. If you've ever had an EKG on your heart, they take patches, they put it all over your body. And they send an electrical current through your body to look for abnormalities. We're looking for the same thing on the bridge. We take small sensors, we put them in critical locations, and we figure out what's the health of the bridge. Are there cracks that are growing that are dangerous to the safety of the bridge? This sensor here, actually, it's basically a sticky back that we pull off, and we stick that on the bridge, and then we fill with the electrolyte. We use two sensors in each inspection location. One sensor is over the crack location, and one is, as, is used as a reference. And we use those two signals to do a comparison to find out whether or not the crack is growing or not. Okay, these are the. This is the electronics behind the electrochemical fatigue sensor. It's called a PDL. PDL stands for Potentiostat Data Link. And basically, what this is is inside. There's a a computer processor, a memory card, and all the electronics required to. Connect to the sensor. So once we install the sensors, the potentiostat is magnetically adhered to the bridge, and it's got a wireless antenna. And the wireless antenna actually streams wirelessly to、um, a local area network that we set up on the bridge, and then it streams to our laptop. Because this bridge doesn't have any problem, what we've done is taken a, a data set from a previous bridge. And just streamed it across here. So this is simulating live. This is what the data would look like if there was actually a problem on a particular bridge. And this is actually data from a real bridge where there was a crack that was growing that needed to be fixed. Every time a truck goes over, the red signal becomes really large. And what you're seeing is that's an indication that the crack is growing. This is a worst case example, so it's very easily visually to see what's going on, so that you can understand. You know, you can see these large dips, and that's an indication that crack is growing fairly quickly. Within 30 seconds, if a truck goes over the bridge, you can actually see the crack growing、uh, right on the screen. The the problem with Fatigue cracks, and the reason why finding them when、um, and determining whether they're growing or not is so important, is because the critical crack length for a crack, so it's the length that it gets to before it grows rapidly. It, it's got many different variables, and it's very hard to predict. So the EFS allows us to say these cracks are growing, these cracks are not growing. These are the ones you need to address first.